as a Jewish girl growing up in New York. It's interesting that my favorite work of art is a crucifixion scene. For me, a great work of art is something that goes beyond the image that it's depicting. What Rembrandt does that I find rather amazing is he really sums up so much about humanity. It's a familiar story that expresses universal emotion. Rembrandt looked at people all around him all the time, was always sketching how people stand, how people faint, how people uh, move their head as opposed to the rest of their bodies. That's what he introduces into a biblical subject. Rembrandt is able in just a few lines to show emotion in its most universal and simplest forms. From simple figures bathed in very bright light, he shows them just in outline. To very detailed figures in the darkness, he's playing with this alternation of dark and light. Rembrandt printed it on vellum, a material that keeps the ink hovering on the surface and that beefs up the richness of the image. Rembrandt is making changes right on the surface. First, he put Christ's foot straight down. Then he put this head on top. When I look at it, I see the artist at work. Every single impression around the world, and there's only 15 or so of these in existence, looks slightly different. So he's really making a painted print. Whenever I look at it, I always think it's going to be much bigger than it is in real life because Rembrandt packs in so much. When you really zero in, you can see these just beautiful passages of lines that could be artworks on their own. After looking at this for a while, I go out into the street and I look at people in a whole different way because you see them in their most elemental forms and how they express themselves. I can see for a little while like Rembrandt looks at people on the street. <laughs>